Hey, what's up everybody, this is Greg. In this section, you'll learn how you can access the controls you added in the previous section, like labels, buttons, and sliders from your own Swift code. This will allow you to change the text on a label or read the value of a slider. We'll begin by covering the concept of object-oriented programming which is the technique by which you make iOS apps. You'll then learn how to get the value of the slider and report it to the user, learning about strings and variables along the way. One of the biggest pitfalls when you're first learning iOS development is understanding what to do when you have a bug in your app. Trust me, it happens to everybody. So we'll give you a challenge to find and diagnose your first bug. We'll then move on to the main topic of this section, how to connect views in your storyboard to outlets in your code, how to avoid duplication using methods, and finally, we'll give you a chance to practice all that you've learned on your own. All right, so let's keep working through our programming to-do list and our journey to make the bullseye game. 